Kaway-kaway sa mga ipinagpalit dyan. Hoy, mga iniwan ng mga love life nila. Mga pinagpalit. Mga matagal ng karelasyon. Na iniwan nyo sa Pilipinas. Na asawa nyo, pinagpalit kayo. Mga may girlfriend, boyfriend ng ilang taon, years. Pero pinagpalit pa rin kayo. Shoutouts sa inyong lahat. Yan ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon. Paano nga ba makamove on kapag pinagpalit ka? Ano mga bagay na gagawin mo kapag ipinagpalit ka? I'm sure you will learn something today. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. My name is Jonas. I'm your overseas Filipino workers advocate from the Sultanate of Oman. I'm a book author. I'm a motivational speaker. I'm also a preacher of the feast. And I am a nurse researcher. Magandang araw sa lahat. Shout out to all those who are watching right now. Thank you so much for your support from the bottom of my heart. Ngayon, ang pag-uusapan natin ay pinagpalit ka ba? Kung pinagpalit ka, ano mga gagawin mo? Sisirain mo ba ang buhay mo? Okay, so just a background, marami akong kaibigan na may asawa sa Pilipinas, nag-abroad, after months pa lang of working here, yung iniwanan niyang pamilya sa Pilipinas, iniwanan niyang asawa, naghanap na ng iba. Meron din naman, yung iniwanan sa Pilipinas, um, pagpunta dito sa abroad, nandito naman sa abroad, yun naman na nagkaroon ng bagong relationship, uso yata ang palitan ngayon. Okay, hindi lang pala rinitans ang, pinag, ang pinapalit natin ng mga pera, pati pala mga... Uh, karelasyon natin pinagpapalit pa yun. but it's a fact and I do not celebrate the misfortune of other people but this vlog is dedicated dun sa mga taong masakit pa rin nasasaktan pa rin hanggang ngayon yung mga taong umiiyak pa rin hanggang ngayon yung pag matutulog na they, they question themselves you know asking themselves am I enough or alam mo yun nagkulang ba ako sana ako nagkulang ako mga may kasalanan trying to belittle themselves to look down on themselves and also still feeling that guilt na baka pinagpalit sila kasi kulang sila may nagawa sila but right now I wanna give you four powerful tips paano makamove on okay paano makamove on kapag pinagpalit ka number one is this number one first and foremost is you need to acknowledge your emotion this is very important Unless you do not acknowledge, you will never move forward. It's like diagnosing, accepting that you there is something within you, accepting that you are in pain, accepting that nasaktan ka. Tanggapin mo nyo, kasi maraming tao dito nagko cover up lang eh. Maraming tao tinatapan lang. They they hide it through alcohol, they hide it through drinking, they hide it when they go outside having fun. You know, some major delicado mga lifestyle or maybe drugs or whatsoever. They hide it in a nice movie. Magali magtato. But I believe that it's not healthy to hide what you are feeling because you need to be true to yourself. The first person that you should be honest to is yourself. Unless you don't recognize that you are hurt, that you are really hurting, you will never get healed. Because healing comes when you uncover the wound. Alam mo, isa pa akong nurse. So, nung time na para maghil ang isang sugat, kailangan namin tanggalin lahat ng mga sirang part doon. Kailangan namin tanggalin yung mga necrotic tissue, mga dead tissue cell na para maghil ang isang sugat. Same is true sa ating emotion, emotion, okay? emotional status. We need to acknowledge and remove those pain. Acknowledge na meron ka talagang sakit before you accept for healing. Okay? So, dapat, dalawa lang naman ang choice mo at the end of the day. Eh. Either sirain mang buhay mo, o kaya gamitin mo ito para siya kabubuti ng buhay mo. Yun ang dalawang choices mo. And I think right now, nandun ka sa choice na yun. It's either you are already moving moving on, or either you're still stuck and feeling that you are victim, you know, feeling na ikaw may kasalanan and all these things. Anyway, ito na ang apat. Pinagpalit ka ba ng asawa mo, ng girlfriend mo, o ng boyfriend mo? Ito ang dapat mong gawin. Okay? Number one, again, balikan natin. You have to acknowledge. You have to acknowledge. Okay? Acknowledge na, yeah, nasaktan ka talaga. Pag na-acknowledge mo na yan, na-realize mo na, oh nga pala, no, all these years you are just trying to hide the pain. All those years you are just faking it. All those years you are just trying to cover it. Then that's the time that you can actually heal. So that's number one. Number two is this, build. Build something. Focus on your dreams. Make it as an inspiration. Ang dami kong kaibigan na iniwanan, na ipinagpalit, na instead na ma-inspire na gawin ng maraming bagay, ito pa rin ang mga pangarap nila. Ayan, nagmumukmuk, ayaw ng mangarap, ayaw ng mag-try, ayaw ng mag-build, ayaw ng balikan ng mga pangarap nila. They are devastated. Do you think, um, 
nagiging happy ka pag ganun nangyari because at the end of the day you are still the victim because you are not working on your dreams samantala so, yung nagpalit sa'yo sobrang masaya na siya sobrang happy na niya sobrang enjoy na siya sa buhay tapos ikaw lugmok pa din do you want that to happen all the time that the person na iniwanan ka the person who left you is actually having a good time samantala ikaw devastated ka pa din so who is the winner? di ba sino talo nandito? ikaw that's why bumangon ka You need to build something. Bumangon ka. Mag-ipon ka. Mag-save ka. Mag-strike ka ng business. Magpayaman ka kung pwede. Okay? Para marami kang matulungan. Mag-focus ka sa attention. Kung may anak ka na, mag-focus ka sa anak mo. Hindi mo ano-anong iniisip mo sa sarili mo. Tapos na yon. The past, you can never change it. Okay? You can never change the past. Yung hurt na yan, you can never change it. You cannot um, remove it from your life because it's part of who you are. So right now, my advice to you is build, build something. Instead of allowing that hurt to destroy you, allow that hurt to inspire you to move forward, to create big dreams. Ang sarap sa pakiramdam, di ba? Ang sarap na ipakita mo sa tao mong pinagpalit ka that you are building so much, so many dreams that you are becoming okay. That you are building many of your dreams. Na at the end of the day, after how many years, yung taong nag-iwan sa'yo, iiling-iling na lang. But that's not your main mission, of course. Kasi kung ang main, main uh, na, na purpose mo, bakit mo gagalingan sa buhay para magiganti, you will never win. Okay? I-celebrate mo yung buhay niya, patawarin mo siya, and then move forward and build your dreams. That's number three. And that's number two, sorry. Number three is this. Escape being a victim. Escape the victim mindset. Okay? Ayan mo na yun. Kahit anong gawin mo, mag-split ka, mag-tumbling ka, kahit magpakamatay ka dyan, sorry. Kahit anong gawin mo ba, mag-last-last ka, you can never erase the fact na ipinagpalit ka and that's done, deal, that's finished already. Wala ka nang magagawa, ipinagpalit ka na. Kailangan mo bumangon dyan at sabi mo sa sarili mo, I am not my hurt. I do not represent The, the experience that I had, hindi, lang, hindi ako yung taong ipinagpalit at ipagpapalit lang. You are more than that. Okay? You have dreams. You have family. You, you can have friends. May mga pangarap ka sa buhay. You have abilities. You have passion. And if you work on your passion, you can definitely escape the victim mindset that you have or you are right now. Kailangan mong iwanan ang pagiging victim mo and be accountable. Right now, decide that you will start working for your dreams. Simulan mo ng mangarap. Tapos na yun. You have to drop it down and then move forward kasi may naghihintay pang mas magandang future sa'yo. Okay? May darating na mas okay at mas maganda. Tandaan mo yan. Okay? That's number three. Last thing is, number four is this, grow. Grow. Hindi sa pagkain ha. <laughs> Hindi lumaki ang katawan. But you need to grow. Grow means sa buhay. You need to grow. You have to elevate your life. You need to learn many things. You have to build life muscles. Okay? You have to improve yourself. That while you are hurting, focus on your personal development. Focus on your mindset. Improve your mindset. Improve your skills, your abilities. Yun dapat ang gawin mo instead na malugmok ka. Ah, sinaktan mo pala. Ay, iniwan mo ako. Ah, pinagpalit mo ako. Well, the best thing that I can do right, right now is to grow. Alam mo, binigay sa'yo yung experience na yan dahil may gusto ituro sa'yo ang Panginoon. And you need to learn that lessons. You need to take that lessons in order for you to grow. You are more than the hurt. Lagi mo nang tatandaan. Pinagpalit ka ba? You are more than that. Okay? You have dreams. God created you to enjoy the magnificence. His magnificence. God created you to enjoy your dreams. Hindi ka lang yung pinagpalit lang at yun na ang buhay mo. Huy! Hindi lang yan yung buhay mo. Kaya tama na yung pagkalugmok mo. Tama na yung kakaimot mo. Diba? Bumangon ka na. Ipaglaban mo na yung mga pangarap mo. You start working for your dreams. Drop the victim mindset. Hayaan mo na yan. Iiyak mo. Sige, tanggapin mo. Pag natanggap mo na, mag-build ka na. And then, i-escape mo na. Takasan mo na yung pagiging victim na yan. Okay na. Diba? Kung ilang years na yan, hayaan mo na. Maybe there are still better things that will happen to you. And then, grow. Learn. Kasi baka... Hindi naman ang buhay, isang face lang yan, malay mo maulit pa yan. At least the next time, you already know what to do. Okay? So I'll pray for each and every one of you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our dear and ever-loving God, we praise and glorify your name. 
Salamat Panginoon sa araw nito. Salamat sa lesson na binigay mo sa amin. I pray Lord God to everyone who is hurting right now. Mga nasaktan, mga ipinagpalit Lord God, may you be the answer to their prayers. May you be the light to the darkness that they are experiencing right now. We lift to you the lives of these people who are watching right now Lord God. Ikaw ang kumahala sa kailangan. And trust to you their lives. This prayer we ask through the mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Ngayon ang Father of the Son of the Holy Spirit. And maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Para sa mas maraming pang usapang OFW, please click the subscribe button. Ang dami ko ng video dyan, around 120 plus. I think, I, I really believe that you can learn a lot of things. Isa, tingnan mo lang yung mga video dyan and then subscribe and then click mo rin yung bell para updated ka sa mga daily videos ko. Maraming maraming salamat sa panahon. Kung hindi dahil sa inyo, hindi ako magsusurvive. Salamat sa lahat ng mga subscribers and to those who are constantly viewing my, my you know, my, my work. Thank you so much. Lagi mo lang tatandaan ha. Ang ibig sabihin ng OFWI Overseas Filipino Winners. Bye-bye. God bless.